Hey everybody, Eckers here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. All right, so here we are in the gas station or the the garage, I guess, and we just uh, did a little loop around the uh, coastal region here. Picked up uh, quite a bit of stuff. Oh, that is some sketchy, sketchy meat right there. How are we doing? We're a little bit hungry. I want to do want to start a fire. We have we actually have a burn barrel here. I keep forgetting that there's a burn barrel in here because it's so enclosed. Doesn't seem like there should be. Um, Let's see if we can maybe, we might burn one of our fuel here, just to uh, get things, oh we don't have any, we don't have any wood here with us, I thought we had wood, wait a minute, maybe it's the wrong locker, I think it's this locker, yeah okay we got some wood here, uh, I just need a little bit to cook with, so I'm just going to take one of those reclaimed, that's the easiest one to, to find again anyway, so no big deal, alright let's just do these wood matches, that should be fine, chance of success 40%, I don't like those odds. I don't like those odds at all. But uh, from here, we're going to eat that rabbit meat. We're going to cook it up. Help it regain some of its condition. And then we'll head on up to the abandoned lookout and see if we can maybe get lucky and find a rifle hanging there for us. Or at the very least, find one of the tools that we need. Hatchet, knife, something that I have. More ammunition. One of those. And if we don't have any luck there, then we'll be uh, looking at probably going over to Pleasant Valley at this point. So, let's cook up some rancid rabbit. <laughs> that should take it sort of out of the danger zone. Let's take a look at it, see what it's at now. Now it's gamey. No longer rancid. 62%, so it's out of the danger zone. Let's go ahead and eat it. Anything below 50 I'm worried about, especially since we don't have antibiotics at this point. Alright, um, what time is it here? About four hours of daylight left, we're tired. Oh, how much are we carrying around? 30 pounds. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and make the move. We're not carrying around hardly any items. So I'm good with that. Where's the wolf at? At the very least, we're going to go up the hill and stay in a different cabin. I'm going to grab a couple sticks while we're here. Just so we have them. Alright, let's grab these. I'm not seeing the wolves out right now. Now, that I did go into that cabin. I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I checked that one. Alright. Now, I do believe that there's a cabin up here top of the hill. It does look like some weather's moving in. I would like to get moving here though. So we're at least a little bit closer to the lookout. Isn't it up and over here somewhere? Maybe not. Maybe we'll just go for one of these uh, one of these uh, trailers that happens to be along the, the switchbacks. So I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. That is really fun. Really, really, it's sort of a break from the uh, Survivor uh, style gaming. If you guys do want to check it out, just uh, make sure that you have your uh, live stream notifications or your subscriber notifications set, set to on, and it'll send an email to you whenever I start streaming. But uh, I'm not very good at it <laughs> by any means, but I am getting better, so... Having a lot of fun though playing it. Let's try to stay out of the uh, try to stay out of the wind there. Oh, we're protected there. What's the temperature anyway? 36 degrees, so it's not bad. Not bad. 28 days remaining, and then we'll do a little sit rep once we get to the next uh, structure. I think there's isn't there a house here? There might be a house over here. There's one a house kind of tucked in somewhere around here. Can't remember where. Is it over here? Or is that the, the Tranquility Cove or something like that? I think that's Serenity Cove or something. Something to that effect has sort of a peaceful name to it. Alright, let's keep moving along here. There's the trailer. I knew that there was a trailer along this route. Somewhere. Oh, and there's a bear. <laughs> well, that solves our meat needs. No, it's too early though. That All that bear meat would be absolutely 
It would probably disappear within 28 days. It'd probably be just rotten and gone. Plus, we don't have any way to kill it. And I'm not fighting a bear hand-to-hand, -hand, no matter how much you ask me to. I will not do it. Painkillers. I can use some antibiotics. Any antibiotics? Okay. Well, if you don't have that, do you have some... Do you have some MREs? Newspaper. Uh, beef jerky, I guess, is better than nothing. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Anything? Uh, sometimes there's good stuff in these. Metal containers. Mm. Fire striker. That's good stuff. Steel chocolate bar. That's nice. Alright, another steel chocolate bar. New took two. That might be better than ours. I'm not sure. Let's check check real real quick here. Yeah, it is better. All right, let's drop ours. There we go. Just keep upgrading as you get upgrading as you go. Scrap metal. Don't need that. We have plenty of scrap metal if we need it. At the uh, at the gat or at the the garage, the closet garage. All right, so that looks good. Um, Three hours daylight left. We got a bear in front of us. We're tired. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so there's a the bear. I, I need to make it up there. That's the problem. Uh, well, no real way, easy way to get around him that I can think of at the moment. I don't think we can scale this any which way. Maybe it'd be best just to rest a little bit here. have a little something to eat. Let's do that. Let's eat this one. Oof, I hesitate eating that. If we get food poison, it's a death sentence at this point, so I'm just going to eat the safe one. I'm not going to, it's not worth 250 calories. There we go. Alright, let's get a little something to drink there. Very good. Alright. So... What I will do here is just get a little bit of rest and move that bear along and then try to try to go on if possible. So let's get an hour rest. And we'll see what the situation is when we wake up here as far as weather, bear activity, wolf activity, that sort of thing. Not really that worried about the wolf activity. Two hours of daylight left, 34 degrees. I say we go for it. Doesn't look too too windy, doesn't look like a storm is actually moving in, so. It's pretty out there though. Just collect some sticks as we go. I think it's right back there, up there somewhere. I think this is the path that we need to go up on here. That's what I was waiting for the bear to clear this area. The sun this is, is setting. Really, it's colder soon. really the easiest way for us to get up there. I do believe. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling better, better about life here. Upwards. That's the direction we need to go. Is it up there? It might be up there. Probably, yeah, I think it is. I think it, we gotta go one more switch back. Not hearing anything moving. That's a good thing. Boy, this would be great if we could find a rifle up here. I would be so stoked. That and some sort of like a knife or a, preferably a hatchet. If I had to pick a knife or a hatchet, definitely go for the hatchet. Not as great for some things, but it's more function, like it's more multifunctional. This doesn't seem familiar to me. That's, where's he at? Son of a gun. I'm going to try to get past him if I can. Oh, he ran away. Good. Get out of here. Wow. I'm glad that I was able to scare him away with my aggressiveness. <laughs> my boldness right there.
And he's running back. Okay, good. I'll probably get off of here. I don't want to sprain my ankle. I imagine it's a possibility since those are probably considered uh, slopes. I think I came in this really far to the uh, Desolation Point side. Like, I got on the the path really, really far to the de Desolation Point side of things, and I'm not used to jumping on the path there. I'm telling you what, Coastal just always messes with me. I've been on it a lot lately, and I'm still, I still feel like I'm new every time I get up in this area and start trying to navigate. I think I feel more comfortable in Timberwolf now than I do Desolation Point, actually. So, we'll see what the, what we got here. Wow, I think I got oh, quite a ways to go, actually. Did I pass it? I think I did. No. I think I still have to go forward. Well, if I, if I end up going, I think it's over here. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, there's some old man's beard, which I don't need right now. Good, I have that bandage if I do get bit. The only problem is, if, if another thing is if I get into a tussle with a wolf, there is a chance for it. Well, I guess the old man's beard bandage would take care of the infection, so I'm covered there. Okay, let's uh, try to get past this wolf if possible. feel like I need to go up a level, another level? I think there's another level I need to go up. Alright, we're going to have a little standoff here. Try to scare them all. Yeah. Now he's running. He's still running at me. I'll be ready to pop another flare if need be. If we can find somewhere to hole up, I'll go for that. But if I need to, I'll, I'll pop another flare. What, where are we at? I think I'm one level too low. Can I get up there? I don't think so. Is this to the, the cave? To did I, I must have passed it. I think this is the cave. I think this is the cave to... I think that's the bully wolf from the last series. And I think this is the cave to... Uh, Pleasant Valley. Pretty sure. Yeah, we made a wrong turn. That's okay, though. We'll stay here. We might find some good stuff in here anyway. So, we'll probably find some ammo and things like that. So we can do some exploring here. And then we'll head back. And I know where I'm at now, so that's good. I must have passed it right to the left. I just wasn't looking. Night time and all that make it a little bit more difficult. All right, what well, we got? Another flare, nice. I always like to see that when I, the object I'm using gets replaced, like immediately. This is sort of nice. Okay, not the best thing to use, but we got some lantern fuel, wood matches, some coal. Take those actually. Three coal should do me pr pretty well for quite a while. And a newspaper. Rifle cleaning kit, we'll take that. Uh, nope. And nope. Neither of those are going to be any better than anything I have. Mercy stem, okay. More wood matches. We're good on matches. More wood matches. Yeah. I had no worries about the match situation, I tell you. When I started this series and I saw that, I had no worries about that. Alright, once this burns out, I do have the, uh, yeah, I do have the, uh, lantern, so I'm just going to let that burn out, use the lantern for now. Puts out a lot more light. And I think over here, if we go this way, there's sometimes, there's a lot of times there's ammunition here on this little broken platform. <clears throat> I think this is the right way to go. And I think I'm thinking of the right cave. That's the other thing. Sometimes I get these caves a little bit confused, but... Is what it is. All right, nah, that's not what I was thinking of. We'll get lucky and find something good. 
Yeah, we got bandage. That's always nice. Ah, fuel. That's good. Add it to the pile. 49, I'll put that Let's back. Antiseptic, I'll take that. Anything else? No, not that I'm seeing. Immediately, at least. Okay, let's keep... Let's keep going here. Now, is this the one that leads to the platform? Yeah, I think, I think it is. Sort of drops and goes to the right a little bit. Nope, going to the left. Okay, maybe... Maybe not. This is the part where... I'm a little bit confused here. Okay. That was disorienting. Oh, there's an energy bar, granola bar. Okay, there it is. Granola bar. Newsprint. I want to leave that behind. I don't really need any more newsprint. I can pretty much make all the tinder that I need out of sticks that I collect. I will take the cloth, though. It's always good to have nice clothes. Especially when we're dealing with, uh, Probably useful. Uh, leather. Yeah, I'll probably need that for ragged winter coat. Uh, no. My mariner coat would be better, I think. It's more cloth. Alright. This is a big, big cave complex, isn't it? You got here anything worthwhile? Not really. A couple pieces of coal and some scrap metal. Nothing to really write home about. Well, at least we'll have, we've knocked this cave out and we'll be ready to uh, definitely, there's the platform I'm talking about. That's the one I'm talking about. Weird, I'm not, really not used to coming in at this angle, so she's getting slow. Yeah, it's starting to really get drained. And is there, there's ammo. I knew it. I knew that there's ammo there. So we gotta go up and walk around here real quick. And then from here, yeah, this is where it drops down and kind of goes to the right. Yeah. This is the, the tunnel that I was thinking of. All right. Quality tools, I guess we'll take it. I don't think it's on our list, but. I'll take it. I'm gonna leave the sneakers behind. Five rounds. Getting closer to what we need. Alright. Can I get out of here? Okay, there we go. I was like, I'm stuck. I'm stuck because there's a little piece of wood right in front of me. I'll die in this little, uh. This little section right here. Oh, what have you got for us? You got anything for us? Got a torch. I don't really need that. Any food? Uh, you're worthless. Alright, let's head on down this tunnel here. Make our way back out to uh, Pleasant Valley. And then we'll sleep on the other end of this cave. I don't think there's anything down here, is there? No, that's where... Oh, that's where I... Is that where it came in at? Am I just backtracking now? I think I am. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm completely backtracking. That's weird. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to go up the, uh... Where we found the ammunition, I'm going to go up through those tunnels. I'm not... This all seems reversed to me. memory and what I'm seeing does not line up at all, but that's okay. I know that I haven't been this way. So let's head out here. And I'm seeing daylight. So let's go ahead and extinguish. Oh, you know what? There's going to be some stuff that we can probably find right here. Yeah, like uh, accelerant cured leather. I'll take that leather. Sewing kit, take that. Let's take a peek out here. See how things are going outside. Do a 
quick little weather check here. So there we are, Pleasant Valley. We made it over here. Let's head back in here and get some rest. So we definitely know where the abandoned lookout is. Um, you know, I'm going to have to come back through Coastal anyway. I'm thinking since we're on Pleasant Valley, we might as well just go ahead and check the farm homestead and, the, and Signal Hill rather than keep going back and forth. Because I'm going to have to come back through this way anyway. And I can, if I don't have any luck over here, I can check the abandoned lookout on my way back from, uh, from my unsuccessful trip. So, yeah, that, that makes sense. All right, so we're a little bit hungry. Let's go ahead and eat. Let's avoid that candy bar there. Eat, drink, and then sleep through the night. And hopefully we have good weather and we can make it to the uh, barn and farm homestead in the morning. How are we doing on lantern field too? Which is in here? Not a whole lot. So, all right. Now, is lantern fuel? It's a. It is kerosene. Okay, I was wondering if that would count towards the actual kerosene amount that we need. And I did promise a sit rep, so it's a little late in the episode for that. But here we go. Um, kerosene. We have point three. So we're going to need to keep accumulating kerosene. Water. I'm not worried about. The lantern. We have in hand. Hatchet we still need to find. Rifle cartridges, I think we're up to six, so we're doing pretty good there. We still need to find a rifle. Then we still need to accumulate some bandages. No problem, we can always make that out of cloth. Tinder, we can make that out of things that we find lying around, no big deal. Uh, sticks and whatnot. Sticks, we need to start accumulating a lot of sticks. Reclaimed wood, soft wood, and days of food. So once we get most of this stuff, we're going to worry about uh, hunting for our food and. Um, then we'll see how that goes. If we get all the check marks marks ahead of the 30-day mark, I don't know if it's going to stop us or not, or if we just need to make sure we don't dip into our resources at the 30-day mark, we, we need to be ready for it. So I'm not sure how that works, but we will figure it out. Um, so let's see here. I'm, I've got my thirst taken care of. A little bit hungry, but we're very tired, and we got nine hours of daylight left. Let's go ahead and take a little nap here. Let's do it. So let's just sleep for eight see how things are going by the time we wake up. Alright, how are we doing here? Eh, we're feeling a lot better, a little bit thirsty. Let's go ahead and get something to drink. We'll rest for another two hours so that it's daylight. The sun's well above the, uh, the horizon. Let's do that. Uh, one hour darkness. Let's go two hours. Okay, make sure we pick up our bedroll. We're in pretty good shape. A little bit hungry, but we're going to find food on the way. So let's get our flare out. Be ready for any type of a contact. If it's contact with a bear, we might as well just jump off of a cliff. It looks cold. Oh, not that bad. It does look pretty out there, doesn't it? Okay, let's take a look out here see what we got to deal with. Seven degrees. Yeah, it looked cold. I was protected from the wind there. It's pretty windy. All right, well, let's not go down the hill that way. Oh, it's really windy. kind of want to travel when there's less wind. All right, let's see how it goes. Uh, I think the wind's going our direction. I think if we're walking that way, we're okay. But if we're walking this way, we're not. Luckily, that's the direction we want to go, so I think we're going to be all right. Unless we have to double back from a bear, then we're screwed, completely screwed. So I'm going to start grabbing some old man's beard. I don't think we have any more of it, but I have that extra bandage, so I want to make another... Old, man beard, old man's beard bandage out of it. So we have two on hand. So I'm going to start. I need at least two more of those. Then we'll be good to go. Pick up sticks. Now we're moving fast. About ready to tumble down this hill, we're going so fast. Now sometimes there is a bear that lurks around here, so. And there's some wolf activity occasionally, like over that way. Where I typically see it. 
Alright, I'm gonna try to make it out here onto the road as quick as possible. I have a feeling as we head towards Pleasant Valley, we're gonna be able to, uh, we're gonna be able to, uh, accumulate some more food, get ourselves feeling much better. We're at a thousand calories, so we're gonna be alright. I'm not super concerned at this point. <laughs> My stomach's saying otherwise. It's going, hey, I don't care how, what you're thinking. I'm telling you, I'm hungry. All right. I'll tell you what, if they could do this game in a procedurally generated map and make it very, very, make the, uh, make the, uh, it very expansive in the uh, I think we gotta go this way make it very very expansive and make it uh, the the buildings very sparse I uh, would that would be like a, a standalone sandbox game you know what I mean that would be a lot of fun sort of like the way uh, Stranded Deep is but uh, keep all the other mechanics with this game is that a wolf way ahead of me coming down above that rock I think so like right in the center of the screen. I think so. I think we got one coming towards us because he's getting closer behind that rock. So, I want to try to... Oh, there's a building there. We should be able to outrun him if need be. I know that there is one that likes to... Hey, we got a building over here. We should be able to get it to. I don't know. It's boarded up, though, so maybe we'll have to make a run for it. But uh, We'll see. I don't, I don't think I'll have to... Yeah, yeah alright. Let's just make a run for it. Yep. Made it. <laughs> if not, I was going to go across the street to the next building. I know for a fact I could get a, could have gotten into that building, so. Let's take a peek around, make sure I'm not missing any loose rifle rounds. Every rifle round is important. Grab that reclaimed wood. It is on our to-do list. Of course, I'm not that worried about reclaimed wood at this point. Oh, please be some antibiotics. Oh, come on, antibiotics. Is that too much to ask for, honestly? A rifle round. Speaking of, there we go. That is exactly why we turn on your uh, lantern. Otherwise, it would have looked... Well, I probably, I probably still would have seen it. I'm guessing. Alright, so... Let's see what happens when I leave the house here. If I can dash across to the next one, or if the wolf is right there just waiting for me. With a dinner fork and a knife just ready to go. Okay. We are... Um, uh, change of plans. We're just going to go ahead and... Uh, he, he was ready. He had it. He had his A1. Ready to go. We'll just wait here for an hour. Let him sort of reset his position and then head on across. Let him forget about his, uh, his, uh, lunchbox meal he's got waiting for him in here. Okay. Let's see what we got. Shouldn't be nearly as scary when we walk out the door this time. Unless he's invited friends over for dinner. Okay, let's see if we can get going here. If I hear any growling, I am making a run for it. Alright, we'll check that car after we leave this house, if we get the chance. I don't want to get trapped in a car when it's 13 degrees. Because there's a wolf lurking around outside. It's not my idea of fun. Alright, but going inside of here and grabbing a granola bar, that is my idea of fun. Alright, again, let's bust out our lantern. Uh, more matches. We're good on matches. I definitely... Oh, there's another storm lantern. Which one's better? I can use this. I want to grab the fuel out of this one, though. It's in 60% condition. Let me turn this one off and do a little lantern adjustment here. Uh, it's going to take an hour and a half to break it down. Let me think here. This one has... It's in better shape. So we need to break this one down. And I don't... 11. We're going to run out of... Well, I wonder, will it put it in the uh, jerry can? Any excess? That's my concern. Like, see, if I do... If I take this 0.11 gallons and put it in here, we're going to be over. You know, because we'll be over by... What, 7? 0 0.07? Now that 0 0.07 will go in here, which would should make this or in here. So this should either go up or this should go up from 0.16 to uh, or, or this one should go up from 0.0. So let's give it a shot. See what happens. 
Yeah, let's break this one down. Let's see what happens to the fuel. I'm curious. I know it's going to take an hour and a half or an hour, so. Let's do that real quick. Okay, what happened here? Okay, so it did. Excess did go in here. So it filled this one up completely, and then a little bit more went in here. And this should be completely full. And it didn't. It didn't completely fill that one. Why didn't it do that? that <laughs> It didn't put anything in here at all, actually. It put all the excess into these containers. So, alright, well, that's fine. This one's almost completely full. It's in better shape. I'm happy now. Um, alright, let's keep exploring. Nice little experiment to see where everything was allocated. Fresh venison, thank you. I appreciate that. I will probably cook that up and eat that before I leave. That way I'm not carrying around raw meat. Accelerant, I'll take that, just because my fire starting skill isn't the best at this point. Lots of food. Figure if we ever, ever really, really get desperate for anything, we can always hit Timberwolf Mountain and go to the plane, the plane crash at the summit. Oh, another coho. Jeez, we're in good shape. That with the, uh... Okay, tin of coffee... Take it, I guess. I don't know if the tin of coffee should count as food because it's 100 calories per okay. serving. So, all right. Water purification tablets. Man, I, what I really need. I hope they have a medical kit in here and they got they have some antibiotics. That's what I really, really would like to see. All right, did we check everything? I think we did. Uh, no toast in the toaster. Cabinet. What we got in here? Doesn't look like anything. Judging by how fast that progress bar was moving. Cabinets. Negative. Something's going to be in here. Worn insulated boots. Do I have insulated boots already? Is getting kind of heavy. Let's check. I think I have insulated boots. What do I have? Oh, no, I have work boots. These are going to be better. When it's all said and done, these will be better. I'm going to start wearing these. And what do I need to repair those? Piece of cloth, a cured leather, hour and 30 minutes. We'll do that at the farm homestead. Uh, can I tear this down into some cured leather? Take an hour and 30 minutes. That's going to be a long time. I'm just going to drop these. I should have enough to repair this. And what's my chance of success? 85%. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I think I have a couple pieces of cured leather. Let's just double check. I do. So two chances at that. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm not going to carry around the extra ones. More thermal underwear. Don't need those. So I'm going to leave those work boots here. I guess if I really need them, I know where to find them. As long as I can remember where to find them. Ragged wool socks. I think we're good on wool socks. Let me just double check on that. I think that was one of the items we started with, actually. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so Stacy Soda. Alright. Anything else? Some water. Take all of that and dump what we don't need. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Getting a little heavy, are we? All right. Man, there's a lot of sketchy stuff that I would like to eat, but I'm a little scared to. Because I don't have any antibiotics, I need to keep my eyes open for mushrooms too, but typically you don't see them from the road. Typically they're off the beaten path. All right, um, let's go check the car. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a knife in here. Oh, you know what? We need to drop some of that water. Stand by. Need to jump back in here. You know what? I just looked at the clock. Noticed uh, episodes run a little bit long, so what I'll do is I will drop uh, a little bit of this water here. See if that helps. We're getting close. Close to being better. Probably don't need two newsprints. And uh, just shed some weight where we can here. 36 pain pills. That's a lot. That's actually a pound and almost a pound and a half of pain meds. Yeah, I say we drop about 20 of the, about 24 of those. There we go. Okay, we're getting closer. Closer. We have antiseptics and bandages, so that's good. We need 10 bandages, so we're well on our way there. Uh, I never even use water pur purification tablets, so I'm actually going to drop those. There we go. Might keep like two. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. And then uh, what else can we get rid of? Anything? 
A lot of matches. Don't need that many matches. We're fully stocked at the cabin. And we have a fire striker. So let's just drop all but uh, a 12 pack. Oh, we're already up to 8 rounds of ammunition. Didn't even realize that. So we're underweight now. That's good. Hey, a couple sewing kits. We probably will need those. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Hit this car and move on from here. I don't know where this wolf's going to be. But we got the wind at our back at least. I hear a wolf. I thought I heard the, the wolf wolf. Okay, you got anything for me in here? No tunes. What's up with that? Uh, I'm waiting for the knife to be like right here and just goes down and stabs me right in the crotch. Like visor knife crotch injury. Oh man, classic. Sometimes there's good food back here. Mittens, don't need those. Don't need that. Don't need that. I just dumped a bunch of water. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, what's our temp at? 22. Doesn't look like it's 22. There's the wolf. Okay. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here on the bridge. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, see you uh, as we try to complete this uh, whiteout challenge. Thanks for watching.